This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I have long talked about Fox News being a bastion for some of the worst and most dangerously dividing ideas and policy out there. The network is filled to the brim with hateful white supremacists, racists, and liars who profit off ginning up fear and paranoia and anger related to immigrants and Muslims and poor people, among other groups. Well, finally, a Democratic presidential candidate is speaking up and refusing to participate in a town hall hosted on what has become the official network of the Trump 2020 campaign. As if you needed more reason to like the woman bursting with a seemingly endless supply of fantastic, ready-to-be-implemented policies, Elizabeth Warren has rejected an invitation from Fox News to appear on a televised town hall. And not only has she refused their invitation, she has given the best and most accurate and principled reason because they're a, quote, hate-for-profit racket that gives a megaphone to racists and conspiracists. Specifically and more fully, she said this, quote, I love town halls. I've done more than 70 since January, and I'm glad to have a television audience be part of them. Fox News has invited me to do a town hall, but I'm turning them down. Here's why. Fox News is a hate-for-profit racket that gives a megaphone to racists and conspiracists. It's designed to turn us against each other, risking life and death consequences, to provide cover for the corruption that's rotting our government and hollowing out our middle class. Hate for profit works only if there's profit. So Fox News balances a mix of bigotry, racism, and outright lies with enough legit journalism to make the claim to advertisers that it's a reputable news outlet. It's all about dragging in ad money, Big ad money. But Fox News is struggling as more and more advertisers pull out of their hate-filled space. A Democratic town hall gives the Fox News sales team a way to tell potential sponsors it's safe to buy ads on Fox. No harm to their brand or reputation. Spoiler, it's not. Here's one place we can fight back. I won't ask millions of Democratic primary voters to tune in to an outlet that profits from racism and hate in order to see our candidates, especially when Fox will make even more money adding our valuable audience to their rating numbers. I'm running a campaign to reach all Americans. I take questions from the press and voters everywhere I go. I've already held town halls in 17 states and Puerto Rico, including West Virginia, Ohio, Georgia, Utah, Tennessee, Texas, Colorado, Mississippi, and Alabama. I've done 57 media availabilities and 131 interviews, taking over 1,100 questions from the press just since January. Fox News is welcome to come to my events just like any other outlet, but a Fox News town hall adds money to the hate-for-profit machine to which I say, hard pass, unquote. That is spectacular, and more importantly, that is correct. I completely agree that signing on to be the single draw attraction is a problem. And it's different than just generally appearing on one of their programs to talk about a particular legislative initiative for three minutes or so. A town hall is different. A town hall is an hour-long standalone event that would be hyped and advertised and would likely bring in a lot larger audience than would normally be enjoyed. A larger, broader audience, including Americans who would not normally watch Fox News, which in turn helps add a ratings boost, which would aid in them driving up their advertising rates and helping to replace ad revenue, which was lost as a result of their many, many sponsors having taken their ad dollars off their white supremacist lineup. Look, I'm not gonna put some of these other Democratic candidates on blast for choosing to participate in Fox News town halls. Bernie Sanders and Amy Klobuchar have chosen to do so. And Pete Buttigieg and Kirsten Gillibrand are on the schedule to do so as well. All I will say is that if you believe Fox News is an outlet propagating racism and white supremacy and anti-gay, anti-Muslim and anti-immigrant bigotry, as well as conspiracy theories which are a danger to the health and well-being of our nation, 
And if going on their network for a town hall will enrich the organization, thus giving it power to continue to spread hateful propaganda, then maybe don't do it. Join Elizabeth Warren and decent Americans all over the country in taking a stand against Fox News.